So as I mentioned yesterday and more or less confirmed today, the application file linked still remains offline, which again means that any code that you previously used or your own code, when you try to enter that into the application, you gain instant error has occurred, file link code not found. Now there was a debate yesterday and in fact I actually created a poll on it and you can see the results on the screen. Some of you were actually saying that file link is not down, it's just moving servers. And as you can see in the results, the majority of you think like me, and that is that file link is now completely shut down. So you're not going to be able to use it anymore. So where do we go from here? Well, as you guys know, in this community, when a service stops working or an application gets shut down, then very quickly others jump into its place, giving us more options that we can use. So in this video today, let me show you three options we can use on all of our devices to get somewhat similar functionality. And I'm going to showcase them in order of complexities. So the first one's going to be the easiest and quickest, and we'll end up with something a little bit more complicated, but for some of you, it may be the perfect solution. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get if you're new started. to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So the first option we have, and which is by far the easiest, is to install two custom or alternative application stores. Now we can see on my device, if I go to the bottom here, we have Aptor TV and we also have APK Time. Now these applications have been around for a long time, as in more than a few years. So, so they're very trusted, very reliable, and they have a library of about 800,000 plus applications. If I just start with Aptor TV, so these work across all of your devices, your Fire Sticks, your Android TVs, no need to use any kind of mouse toggle. You can do all of the navigation with the standard remote control. And you can see they have a, a vast library of applications, of utilities, uh, streaming stuff, games, emulators, lots of stuff. And anything you click on, uh, as I mentioned before, that it is tried and tested. And if I click on uh, this, for example, you can see it actually tells you that this is a trusted application. So, so you do get some kind of verification or just assurance that what you're downloading is safe and you can run this on all of your devices. So the first one is Aptor TV, and next we have APK Time. Now this again has been around for a very long time, and again, it really does cater to those third-party applications. And we can see they're sorted out into sections like top applications, Android TV, entertainment, essentials, first again, Android TV. So not only do you get information about each application, you can see exactly when it was updated, the size of it, anything you want to download, you can click on that and this will then download it directly to your device. And for the majority of you guys, all of your popular applications, the stuff that you normally use, you will be able to find the latest versions and in some cases the ad-free versions in these two application stores. And I will be showing you how to install both of these in just a second. So that's the first option. So as you can see, it's very easy. Just install these two applications and you now have access to a library of 800,000 plus applications. Now for option number two, we're going to use Downloader and we're going to type in a special code, which is just 33514. Let's type that in and click on go. Now what this will do is this will actually redirect you to a special page on my website where I've got these three options, three alternative options directly linked. So let's open that up. Now here we can see the option number one, which I've already been through, which is install this application, and you can click on this to install it. And then further down, we have a link for Aptor TV, and again, we can click on this to install it. Now for option two, if I scroll down, is to use trusted websites. Now, as you guys know, all of these tutorials that I post, I actually create on my website, which then has links to these applications. So some of the things I've covered before, like those custom launchers or those launcher managers or those custom screensavers, all of them are available directly on my website. And you're already on there anyway, but if you click on this, this will take you to the tutorials page 
and then you can find links to all of the applications I previously covered. And it's not just me guys, as you know, some of the other popular YouTubers also have websites. So these in alphabetical order, we have CSS Coda, we have DocSquiffy, FreeTech, Kevin P, uh, Lee TV. So clicking on these links will take you directly to their website where again, you'll see a bunch of applications, bunch of utilities, and just things that you can download directly onto your device. Now, the benefit of using their websites is these are trusted people. I know that they scan all of these applications for malware, for viruses, uh, using VirusTotal and other websites, just to make sure that anything you download from their sites or my site can be fully trusted. And of course, there's TroyPoint as well, and I'll make sure his website is also linked here. Now, which then moves me on to option three. Now, option three is really for those people who love their file link stores. So people that spend a lot of time creating it, managing it, updating it, and now they're looking for an alternative. So one option you can use is actually built into Downloader, and which is the ability to use short code. So what you can do is if I scroll down, just to show you some of the shortcodes I've created already. So here, for example, we can see that the DB Assistant has the code 36342. So what that means is if I now go back to home, I can now click here and type in 36342. And what happens when I click on go? This should now make a connection to wherever the application is hosted and download that directly to my device. So no prompts, no clicking on anything, just type in that short code and we can see that then downloads the application directly to my device. I can click on install and install that on my device. Now, the reason why this process takes a little bit longer is you have to basically create these shortcodes yourself. So it will take some time for you to create it and of course maintain it. But once it's all done, you can have a bunch of codes which you can then share with your friends, your family or your customers and just say that the next time you want to download the Dangbe Assistant, type in this code. The next time you want to download Mouse Toggle, and type in this code. So it does take a little bit of time, but you can create some kind of private repository, which you can then share by sharing your codes. Let me show you how you can now create those codes. So before you create your short codes, you need to have the direct links to these applications. So the people that previously used file linked and maybe hosted your files on Dropbox, or maybe you hosted your files on archive.org, you need to find the direct links to those applications. So we can see in my example on archive.org, I've got some applications here. We can see I've got my Aurora store, I've got my DB Assistant, and I've got the Fast Task Killer. Now I've already created short codes to this, but let's now create a short code to this one here, the Fast Task Killer. So the first thing we need to do is copy this link. So I'm gonna click on Copy Link, and this is basically the direct link to the application. So once you've confirmed you have the right link, you now need to open up a new window and just go to News. Com. And this is a great website created by Elias, giving you the ability to create these short codes. So what I need to do now is paste in my direct link to my application, which we can see I've done that. And we can see it does end with .apk. I'm now going to click on, I'm not a robot, and click on shorten. Give that a second. And that's it guys, so within a couple of seconds, we now have the short code 43298. Now I can share this code, I can put this on my website, I can pass it on to my family and friends and just say, if you guys want to download the Fast Task Killer, just type in 43298 into Downloader and that will then directly download the application onto your device. Let's go back to my Fire Stick and if I now type in that 43298 without any kind of uh, prompts or anything else, as soon as I type this code in, click on go. I mean, there is like actually a five second countdown, but we can see it does link directly to the application. So without pressing anything else, that should now start downloading directly onto my Fire Stick. And we can see it's done exactly that. So of course, this is no way as slick or as efficient as FileLink was, but the show must go on. So we need to try other options and just try other ways of getting our favorite applications on all of our devices. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I know lots of you are asking for alternatives on where we can find our applications and specifically safe options, safe alternatives that we can use on all of our devices 
to find our favorite application. So, so do leave me a comment below and let me know which option you liked or which option you're going to be doing. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.